Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another episode of Purgatory brought to you by 4 Strategy Gaming. It is Friday, September 16th, 2011 and today we will be discussing the recent friends and family patch and the addition of the gold auction house, the newly forged partnership between Blizzard and PayPal, a very cool 3D model viewer available on Diablo fans, and finally a use for the chat gem. During the middle of the week, the Friends and Family Beta did receive its third patch which introduced the public game system to Diablo 3. This is a matchmaking system that will allow you to quickly and easily find partners to assist you in the campaign mode of the game. Certainly a great tool for anyone who is playing the game and doesn't have any friends online at any given time. If you're looking for partners to assist you in the campaign, this will be the best way to do so. In addition to the public game feature, the patch did also bring forth the auction house for Diablo 3. Now this is currently just the gold based auction house for the game. Uh, Bashiok did actually go ahead and make up a post letting people know that the gold based auction house was available and just basically informing people as to how to use it. In order to sell anything on the gold based auction house, whatever you want to get rid of, you actually just have to put in your shared stash and that way once you are in the auction house interface you can access those items. Anything that your character itself is wearing will not be accessible, so whenever you want to sell anything you just throw it in the shared stash and then once you bring up the auction house interface you'll be able to easily sell it there. Now there is a fee associated with these it is obviously just a gold based fee not a real world money fee and once more this is just the gold based auction house the real currency auction house will be available at a later date. Blizzard has now officially announced the third party payment provider that we will be utilizing when it comes to the real world currency auction house. It is going to be PayPal. Now this is what we expected. This is kind of one of the largest and most frequently used online when it comes to making internet purchases. PayPal is one of the most well known names. But it has now been officially confirmed. So if you do plan on utilizing the real money auction house, you probably want to go ahead and set up a PayPal account. I have had a PayPal account for quite some time. It's been about four or five years and I have never in that span of time had had any issues whatsoever. I've made numerous transactions, pretty large transactions as well, and I've never ran across any issues. So if you plan on using the Real Money Auction House, go ahead and set up a PayPal account. If you have issues with PayPal, probably stay away from the Real Money Auction House because this is obviously going to be the only avenue of being able to utilize it correctly. Diablo fans recently added a 3D model viewer to their Diablo wiki. Now I spent some time going through this last night and I thought it was pretty cool. I really liked being able to get a full 360 view of some of the various things in the world of Sanctuary. Now you're going to be able to take a look at the monsters, NPCs, items, and all sorts of things in this 3D model viewer. Essentially if you just head on over to the Diablo wiki, they have begun to update the list there. They've got a lot of the NPCs, uh, monsters, and they've worked on the items as well. And this is going to be continuously added over time as they gain access to the 3D models, they'll be placing it right in their wiki. So go ahead and take a look at this once more. I think it's pretty cool and another great way to waste your afternoon. One of the great mysteries of man is what does the chat gem do? Well, you know what? Now we finally have a concrete answer. The chat gem over on the Diablo 3 community site is now a random bill generator. If you head on over to the skill calculator and just start spamming the chat gem, that purple button at the bottom of the screen, it will give you randomized builds with rune in place in there as well. This is a, a, a kind of a neat feature, but obviously it's not very likely to give you any solid and concrete builds. But you know what I really like about this? You could literally go there, hit the chat gem, and be like, all right, I'm going to do that build exactly just for the hell of it. Now, currently, I've had people ask me about runes and stuff in the beta. At the moment, runes are not in the beta. I don't believe they're going to be patched in, though it is possible. Um, so we can't actually take a look at rune skills right now. It won't be until release that we actually get to go in-depth about the skills and the runes and the way they affect them. But still, nonetheless, if you want to take a look at just some random crap builds, go ahead and start spamming that chat gem and enjoy your afternoon. All right, everyone, that's going to do it for this episode of Purgatory. I'm really excited for that start of the closed beta. We've got a lot of great plans for content that we will be producing. So as soon as this starts, we'll be able to get that underway. I did recently start a theory crafting series, and hopefully you guys have been enjoying it. If you haven't seen it yet, go ahead and take a look at it. I'll be just be taking a look at various PvP and PvE builds for all the classes and kind of different combinations and trying to speak on their strengths and weaknesses. This is something we plan to do during release, certainly once we have a concrete idea of how well these builds function. As always, guys, I thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you have enjoyed this episode. Thanks again, guys. Keep watching and keep owning.